Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Now that we understand how account types are affected by debits and credits, we need to know how to enter these transactions into the accounting system that we are using. Let's look at how the common accounting systems handle double entry accounting. QuickBooks. One of the nice things about automated accounting software is that the double entry system is built in. In QuickBooks, one payment method is to write a check to a vendor for purchases. On the check, you select from which bank account the check is being written, and then list what other accounts are affected by the transaction amount. When writing the check, the program automatically posts a credit to the checking account, decreasing it by the amount spent. It then debits the other affected accounts shown in the check. It does all the work of double entry behind the scenes. As long as the amount of the check is entirely attributed to the correct accounts for the correct amount, there are no extra steps that you will need to take to ensure the accounting is being done correctly. For miscellaneous transactions, you can enter the transactions into a general journal, and here you will select which account or accounts you want to debit and which account or accounts you wish to credit. To ensure that the accounts balance, once you enter a credit or debit value in the first line of the journal entry, it will fill in the amount for the next selected account in the opposite column for you. You can then modify it as needed. In the end, however, the total amount of debits and credits must balance before you can save and post the transaction. So this, once again, ensures accurate accounting. Peachtree. Similar to QuickBooks, in Peachtree, you can also write a check to vendors for purchases made. In the check form, you select from which account the check is being written, and then attribute that amount to the other accounts affected directly in the check form. When writing the check, the program posts a credit to the selected checking account, decreasing it by the amount spent. It then debits the other affected accounts you select. So it does all the double entry accounting behind the scenes. Just as in QuickBooks, you also have a general journal into which you can post miscellaneous transactions. When making a journal entry, you select the accounts you want to debit and credit. In Peachtree, when you enter an amount in the debit or credit columns, it will tell you if the account is being increased or decreased by the amount entered. This can be very helpful in reducing errors when entering these transactions. Excel. Just as when setting up the chart of accounts, you can create a general journal for your accounting in Excel. Essentially, this is how you would record the account information on paper. In the journal or journals that you create, you enter each account affected by a transaction and then enter the debit or credit values. The difference in using Excel versus the paper method is that you can create formulas in Excel to do the math for you. The formulas you create can get very complex depending on your desired outcome. There are a number of samples available on the internet of Excel spreadsheets set up to record general journal accounts that post to the chart of accounts or create other types of reports. Depending on your experience level in Excel, you can tailor these samples for your own use. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!